welcome to day 27 of the Summer of Wonder. We are here in Breckenridge, Colorado, eagerly awaiting and preparing for the arrival of a bunch of college friends. So this is where the Summer of Wonder takes a very different turn. Lexi and I will be here for an entire week. So we're really looking forward to settling in and relaxing and doing laundry, hanging out with friends, just doing a lot of fun things in one place, which I have to tell you, sounds pretty good right now. I'm gonna show you around the house a little bit. You'll see a little bit of my friend Jane later when she arrives. And then we're just prepping until the end of the day tomorrow when all of our friends arrive. Sometimes wonder looks a lot like friends and that's exactly what's going to happen. It's a very different brand of it, but one I love just as much. And I feel like it's extra special right now because I have spent the last four weeks on my own, doing my thing with Lexi, and now spending time with people who honestly have known me since I was 18 years old. They know way too much, but I also know a lot about them as well. So we're looking forward to an awesome time together. I hope this inspires you to make sure to include friends on your solo road trips. Let's have a great day. Here's our beautiful house. Right down to our cute little bear. Well, today's been a day of just getting reorganized and relaxing and grocery shopping and all the things, but thought you might enjoy the view from the neighborhood in Breckenridge. It's pretty nice. Let's mention a pretty nice neighborhood. We're just taking you on our evening stroll tonight in Breckenridge because whew, the girls needed a break. And so there hasn't been much going on today. Not a lot worth sharing that y'all would be interested in, but we are loving our life here for the next week. This is the Blue River. It's just little here, it grows but it's beautiful and it goes right into downtown Breckenridge, which is maybe where we're walking. I'm not sure how far we're gonna go tonight. Lex is really wanting to get in that water down there, but we're not going, but how beautiful is this little Blue River? And it's September and the daisies are still blooming and the Achillea is still blooming. and It's still really pretty, but yet the colors are starting to change too. Here's the big mountains. Breckenridge sits at the base of 10 mile range. And these are the mountains. Aren't they something? Some of my favorite trails are just these really simple little ones. This is a trail that kind of just skirting neighborhoods on its way into downtown Breckenridge. So it's evening time and we're just gonna see where we go. I'm guessing that the river's approaching us because my dog is now pulling me instead of just walking like a normal dog. And yes, less than 10 seconds after that, we found this. Such a cute little trail. I just love towns that really accommodate walkers and hikers and provide other means of transportation for people to get around other than cars. Plus you get a pretty sweet view on this little walk without having to take a massive hike. I'm sure you've all heard of quaking aspens and this is one of them. It's a little breeze fluttering through. Lex and I enjoyed the views as we continued our stroll into town. It was getting close to the dinner hour, so there were lots of people milling around, and we just really enjoyed all the scenery, the beautiful flowers, and I loved just how colorful downtown Breckenridge is. There's so much thought that's put into the colors that are used and the flowers that are grown, and it just makes for just what feels like a very easy charm, although I'm sure that it is quite intentional. Either way, it all felt just wonderful and we enjoyed our little stroll back to the house before night fell. What a great day. While it may be thundering and lightning out here a little bit, I have a dog who just really needed to go out. And I'm so glad I did because I didn't know how beautiful it was out here in the evening. 
even with the thunder and lightning and ah, rain and wind. But how pretty is this? Good morning and welcome to day 28 of the summer of winter. It's starting to not feel like summer so much anymore. We are in Breckenridge, Colorado, eagerly awaiting the arrival of a whole bunch of my friends and it's going to be a great day. And we woke up to snow on the mountain, which is pretty exciting. So it's not a lot of snow, but we had a wicked thunderstorm last night and I was really hoping that that meant snow up high. And while the clouds are still kind of moving out, there is snow up on the mountain. So yay for that. And a little chilly down here. Okay, here's a peek at Frisco. This is Frisco, Colorado, which is a super cute little town. It's booming like other places in Colorado, but it still has a lot of charm. Amazing hiking. It has great food and, alas, a canceled book signing. So I was supposed to be doing a book signing on Friday afternoon at Vine Street marketplace but I think they've had to shut down due to a water main break so there's not going to be a book signing on Friday night doggone it but we're going to enjoy Frisco anyway isn't it beautiful Jane and I enjoyed our few hours together just getting everything we could ready for the arrival of our friends as their flights were coming into Denver and they were driving the two hours to Breckenridge the pillows were plumped, the bears were on the bed in Black Bear Lodge, and everything was ready for them by the time they all came bursting through the door. Even this handsome fellow was ready for his new crop of visitors. Jane and I had some extra time, so we took the doggies down to the river and let them swim for a while in the Blue River in the back of another one of the properties that she manages. Come back tomorrow and see how solo road tripping shifts into chaos with friends. A beautiful thing and a whole different kind of wonder. So we're just at the beginning of our stay at Black Bear Lodge, but I know it's going to be spectacular. But you know what? You can also stay at Black Bear Lodge. So check out janeslodges.com. Jane has multiple properties. This is just one of them. So whether you have a small group or a large group, she can definitely accommodate you whether it's for skiing or hiking in the summertime, whatever it is that you love to do, you're gonna find out in the days to come just how absolutely amazing Breckenridge is, and you're gonna to wanna to come. So check out Jane's Lodges. Also, please make sure you are liked and subscribed to this YouTube channel, Wonder Bing Travel. We are here, it's the summer of wonder, just a few more days of it. Road tripping through the Rockies, and we are in the heart of it right now. We will see you tomorrow.